Hi everyone and welcome to Artist Live. It's Karen Tamir here and I have a new uh, show for you today. It's a mixed media canvas. Well, it's actually made on a wooden board and I'm gonna show you it's a butterfly canvas and very textured. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and just show you how I created it. And let me turn this around. Oops. And here it is. Oops, it's all this mess here that I have. So there it is. And let me show you what I did. So the first thing is that this is actually not a canvas. It's a wood wooden board. This is like a lid from a smoked salmon. When we were in Alaska, I just kept it. It was a box and I kept the box and the lids. I think I used the box for something else. And then the lid was perfect to do something like this. As you can see, you see this is a different one. Um, so I used the lid for it. Um, so yeah, so this is a texture that I kind of um, fell upon and tried out and really liked how it turned out. So I tried it over and over again. And I'm gonna show you how I created it. So for the first thing, and I'm gonna put this aside, is I'm gonna use this medium. This is the Sculpture Medium by Prima Finnebear. Oh, we need to allow the, hold on. Okay, I just allow your, uh, the URL so you can put them on Didi, okay? So this is a Sculpture Medium. You can use also a canvas for the board. I forgot to say, you don't have to use a wooden board. So this is um, a, a medium that you can use. This is the clear version that you can use to make any fabric really, really, really stiff. I'm gonna put my gloves on and um, just so it's, you know, you wanna protect your hands when it's something like a lot, which is uh, has a lot of like chemicals in it. So I'm gonna, most of the stuff we use does have chemicals, a lot of, harmful probably chemicals, but I always forget to put these on. But right now, I just thought it was a good idea. So I also took a bowl, a plastic Tupperware, and I have this fabric. It's uh, just any, I know, I think it's like a linen. I don't know, I'm not sure what type of fabric it is. Any fabric would work. It hardens it. And you're gonna open it up, and you're gonna put some in there. Yeah, there it is. And then I'm gonna take my fabric and I'm going to soak it everywhere. So there it is, soak it in all directions. Um, yeah, I think it's muslin. Yes, you're right, it could be. And what I did with this one is I basically made it into a circle and put it on here like that. That was it. Then I took some cheesecloth and I should have cut this up in advance. I just opened up the package. I took some of the cheesecloth. Let me just cut some up. One second. I'm gonna get my scissors with the wipes. And and uh, let me just cut some, oops. Sorry, I'm trying to use this with wipes. It's not the best idea. Okay. And what I like about cheesecloth is that it's, or gauze or whichever way you, you, like you can find in your city or country. What I like about it is that it frays and it gives a really cool texture. So again, I'm going to, with whatever I have left over, I might, I might, I might put a little bit extra. This cloth is also like a cloth, so it works that way too. I'm gonna put a little bit, and it really stinks, I have to tell you. So, so it's a good idea to like, um, actually, um, you know, gloves is great. I would, not a mask, but I, I've always, always wondered, maybe I should use, um, masks when I'm doing this. So, and I left a little bit of like, kind of like a tail. And it's like a, it's like a gel, so it sticks to it, but I'm gonna add some more 
So that was my kind of center where I wanted to put the, um, how do you call this? Where I'm putting the butterfly. So let me just clean this up. I'm gonna clean this a little bit too. Okay, dokie. So that was the first step that I did. Yeah, so it does. Hi, Julie. Yes, it does have a strong odor. That's what I was trying to say. It, I mean, not stronger than like the Fabri-Tac silicone one. It's a different type of smell, but also pretty strong. Okay, so I, yeah, it's kind of weird. So now this is a butterfly. This is actually a knob that I used to have in my daughter's room. It was, um, uh, I, have, I had a butterfly themed in her room. So this is just a metal, it's metal. I think it's from Pottery Barn, but an old one, but you could use anything for this. And then basically I just use this to put in here. So I'm going to use some heavy gel, the heavy gel, just to kind of plop it in there. Um, oh, here's my spatula. So obviously I want it to stay. I want to put a bunch. I mean, this will not dry right away, but it will help to kind of keep it in place. Um, I'm gonna put some in here as well because I think it's gonna stick to the actual cloth. And I want to also, I'm going to just to secure it. Ugh, I should have used, hold on, hold on. Um, and just to secure this, I am going to put a little bit of the gel behind as well. Sorry, you know, you can't see, but I'm just putting a little bit, although it will stick, I just wanted to put some gel to make sure that it sticks to it. Okay, so maybe we'll make this side a little bit taller. You know what, maybe I'll move it this way. It'll help keep it even. And, and yeah, okay. So in that sense, this is just going to stay like that. It's gonna stand on the, um, it's gonna stay like this. Okay, perfect. So there you go. That is the initial things, initial, um, how do you call this? You know what I mean. Um, just wanted to make this like a tail. This had a, maybe a little bit extra. Maybe I'll put a little bit of an extra piece of cheesecloth there. I think the tail was a little bit thicker in the other one. So let me just do that. And um, in this case, I'm just gonna use some soft gel, soft matte gel, because it's, it's just the end of the tail anyways. Um, just want it um, to have a little bit of a bigger tail. All right, and I think it should kind of go like this. All right, so this is basically the first step. Um, now, how did I do the texture? This is the main really cool, um, how do you call this? idea that I came up with. I don't know how I even came up with it, but I just, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, sure, I'm not even sure it's my original idea, but I've never seen it done anywhere else. So I'm claiming it as of now, unless somebody else wants to uh, claim it as their own or like, you know, somebody maybe came up with it. So I'm just looking for a spatula and uh, not a spatula, like a palette knife, but my favorite palette knife. Where is it? Hold on. sure what happened to some of my palette knives. I must have used them in a class and left them there. Okay, so I'm gonna use a different one. Uh, where is it? Okay, so let's use, you know what, I'll use the one that I already have. So what I did is I, I'm using the gel, the soft matte gel, and that's what I will be using. Okay, so the soft matte gel from Prima, Finabare. And I just created this, so I added pretty hefty, 
directly onto um, the background and create these grooves. Okay, now what you want to do is have the gel go in different directions and the spatula, I mean the, I'm calling it a spatula, this palette knife. You want it to go in different directions so the, the, it will not all look even. You want it, the, the texture to be in different ways, right? So that's, um, that's why, how it works. And um, everybody say to my hello to my friend Vivi and Isela. I think they're on now. They're from one of them is from Costa Rica and one of them is from Ecuador. I think Heather knows them. Um, they just came to watch the show. Okay, so as I see, as you can see, um, I'm creating this texture, this really cool texture, and it's just really simple. Um, but what's cool about it is in the next step, uh, you can use any size uh, palette knife. It doesn't really matter. And you can make this as thick or as thin as you like. Um, and um, yeah, so this area here is still wet and that's okay because I'm working on something else. The gel um, that's sculpting medium has not dried up yet, but that's okay because I am working on my background and it will all come together all at once. So, um, so I really love using um, gel and or, or paste in just different ways. I like exploring the materials and see what other ways I could use them. I and mean, I recently had, um, uh, I did this same technique on a huge canvas. We did a collaboration um, and uh, it was about like Iceland or the Aurora Borealis. And if you look at my blog, blog back a few days, a few uh, posts, sorry, you will see that I have this, um, this same technique done on a huge canvas. This is, I'm guessing a six by eight or something like that. I don't know why I thought it was a five by seven, but it's a six by eight. So there you go. So now you have this texture here done just with your soft gel, you know, the common soft gel that we all use for decoupaging and I just like using it for something else. So there we go. I am going to close my gel and I want to show you how I worked with this. So. Let me, okay, I'm gonna grab one of these sheets, okay? And I just don't wanna make a whole mess on my, I'm even, my, oops, oopsie. Sorry about that. I might have to glue this again after, but just for now. Um, I want to have, just to protect my, my table, I know they're dirty, but just to protect um, the table, so I'm going to have it like this. Right, now, this is a, this is something really cool. So I wanted to add color to this, and I started spraying it, but the cool part of it was done when I started drying it. So what do you have to do for this technique is that you have to spray and dry at the same time, more or less. So I'm gonna start spraying some inks okay i'm going to use i'm using some of the color bloom 2 from prima the reason why i want these because they're shimmery i'm using poppy field and i'm going to shake well poppy field is kind of like a reddish then it's pot marigold okay i'm using uh, the spring dandelion and I will be using the magic stone, which is the dark one. I will also, I'll try to put a little bit of golden walnut. I, I mix them up, but right now I'm gonna start with the, with the colors themselves. Uh, and this is the yellow one. So the, the light, I start always with the lightest one. Sometimes it takes a long time until it comes out. Okay, so 
So there is that. And then I'll mix it with, you see how, how sh it's hard to see how shimmery they are, but they're beautifully shimmered. And obviously I don't want to spray them everywhere. I like how they pool inside the gel, which is really nice. And okay. All right. So what you start doing is that you have to start um, drying right away, but I still want to add a little bit more of this. I want to add a little bit of brown. And I want to add more of the orange around. So I really saturate the color, and which I really like. It's really uh, easy to do. Like, look at the cool. I think it's really cool just looking in it like this. So I really like the way the texture happened to begin with. You can barely see the yellow. I wanna. And uh, this one is running out. So okay. So you can see this. And now what I did is I took the magic stone, which is the black one, and I only did it in the in the edges because I didn't want it to cover everything else. Now the time is to dry, okay? And you're gonna see as I'm drying, the, the gel starts crackling. So this is the main technique. The longest it takes is to dry and uh, I want to show you how this starts cracking and creating this crackled effect, which I, you can see here. I'm going to show you on the... Okay, you see that crackled effect? That is part of the... That is part of the... Hold on, I just lost the Okay. So, yeah, they're very shimmery. And when they're mixing together, I want to show you the crackled effect here as well. You see what happened? It got... The gel started cracking while I was drying it with the color. And as I was drying, if I saw that I was missing any color anywhere, I could just add it. And it's going to start, yeah, it's starting to crack already here in the middle where I'm pressing it. It's hard to see. I know. Oh, here, here, now you can watch it here crackle at the bottom. I want to keep it all in one spot so you can really see how the technique develops. The main technique is basically drying. Um, the more, the th now another thing, the thicker the gel is, so I can talk about it while it's drying. The thicker the gel is, the bigger the cracks are going to be. So if you put thin the gel really thinly, it's going to um, create smaller cracks. And as you can see in the mounds, the cracks are becoming bigger. And I will show you this from closer in a second. I just can't lift it up. So what's nice about it is that the black or the darker colors kind of go inside the cracks and create this really neat effect while the lighter colors kind of stay in the background and create and you can create that depth that you that I that I had in the other one. So for example here it's 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 just turning really too white for me. So I want to add a little bit more color. I'm gonna have add the orange one. It's a pot of marigold. Where is it? oh there it is. So um so yeah, so it's basically, so I discovered this, tec the, the technique of putting the gel and the, I just was trying it out. I wanted to, somebody's asking if I, if, if I, uh, Joanne is asking if I, to discover this by accident. So the crackled effect was by accident, but the actual technique, I just thought I would play with it. I wanted to see how the gel would look on a background. And I love doing this effect with paint where I take paint and a, and a palette knife and I actually create this texture. So I thought, oh, let's see how what happens if I, I put it with gel. And then I wanted to add color. And when I started spraying the color, it looked really, really neat. So I said, oh, let's see what happens. I was impatient and I wanted to dry it up. So I, so I started drying it and it started crackling and I thought that was a really neat effect. Here I'm gonna show it to you from closer. Uh, hold on. 
there is a crackle effect you see how cool it looks i just thought wow i'm like i, I was like happy that i i mean i think i invented this but i don't know you know like mediums everybody all mixed media things are kind of already done and i thought mm, well this could be like a class or something like that but you know what it's i just figured i'll just give it to people to try out at home if they come to the show which is what i really thought we wanted people to do so you can see the the glittery effect i really like you see the shimmer part of it it's hard to see in the thing but they're very very shimmery which is really nice Oosh, hold on i got some paint in it so um i just thought it was cool um when i get a paintbrush i want to just kind of paint i'm gonna while i'm drying i just like adding some um And you see, it doesn't take that long to dry. Like I'm almost already fully dried. I think I added some more color after. So let's just first get the initial crackles. Here, I don't have as many crackles. I haven't been drying this side as well. So you really need to apply that heat right on to get those crackles. And the gel takes about 24 hours to dry. Like any gel, um, like any gel medium product and uh, it will like even though it's cracking in the surface uh, the gel is still wet underneath so it does lo lose a little bit of its volume as uh, it dries overnight but right now just to show you the effect I wanted to uh, basically um, just re like show you how it how it works so you are gonna see it a little bit more bubbly than it usually is okay it does go down in in volume once the gel settles so let me just I think it's going out of focus so now I'm going to show it to you again from close-up because I think the close-up I think the close-up is just what gives the best effect I just love those crackles okay so yeah so here we are and um, oh hi Corsa hi Hia okay so here is the um, okay so I think I want to add a little bit of the darker color kind of inside what i'm going to do is i'm just going to stop this for a second i just want to make sure this is not hot and i'm going to kind of spray inside because i want it to have that kind of shadow underneath and i think it will help i mean it's a little it's coming out a little bit different than uh than the one from before but i think i like it like this better so it just has that darkness underneath and um, it kind of gives the shadow to the butterfly so you could use any piece in the middle and um, it will still work i mean you could put anything you could put wire i mean wire would have worked as well um, yeah it's really neat to try I would recommend everybody trying it Heather says she wants to try it yeah I think look it's a, just really cool and play around you know and see what comes up I want to add some yellow to my to my butterfly and uh, move it around I'm also going to add some gold. I think I added some gold. I don't know. This is the Empress Gold. It's one of my favorite colors. And it just basically adds a little bit of shimmer to, to things. And just continue drying. So Dave, basically what, what it is, is just continuing to dry and dry until 
you get all those crackled like, until it's fully crackled everywhere so to make sure I don't miss any spots so they look as you see the gold kind of gave it a little bit of a shimmery effect what I'm going to do is my, my uh, how do you call this the, the butterfly paint like the spray on the butterfly is not spreading as well as I like to so I'm going to do this and just a little trick for you guys if you so if you ever spraying something and it's not working that well just add a little bit of gel to it or gesso but I want I don't want the gesso I don't want to cover the 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 actual grooves so I'm just going to add a little bit of of the gel and it just should work to kind of grab it all in so I don't want it everywhere and um, I want a little bit more of the yellow hold on I'm going to dab it out a little bit and then add a little bit of the yellow. I might even stick my paintbrush in here because I really want it to be a bit brighter. And it won't happen like this. Okay, maybe I'll put some orange in it too. Okay, there we go. There we go. So I think a little bit, just to kind of give it a little bit of a brighter shine. Um, so in that sense, there we go. So yeah, so this butterfly is from, it's a doorknob from, or like a, yeah, not a doorknob, a drawer knob from Pottery Barn. Not sure if it's still available. But, I mean, you could just um, use one of uh, Finn's butterflies. That would work as well. You could just place it on top. And I think it needs a little bit more gold here on the corners. Um... So another thing that I did, and let me just go get it, is I put some beads onto around the butterfly. I forgot about those. Um, I'm almost thinking like some micro beads would work. I'm gonna add a few golden micro beads or some black ones. Let's see which ones look better. So, um, so here is like some of these. Hold on, let me move. Uh, I need a little paintbrush. So, so Didi is just stepping away for a few minutes. So if you have any questions, just ask Heather or somebody who's there. Um, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna take some of the gel, the same gel. And the way I like working with this is that I stick my paint, my paintbrush in the gel and then just go into the right it right into the the microbeads and this is the copper ones and i just add this on so yeah that looks cool so again um i just think it needs a little bit so i just love the magic of gel gel medium is my favorite um it just has so many uses, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, I mean, play around with the different materials. You, you never know what you're gonna come up with, you know? It's just nice to kind of play with them and see what nice things you can come up with. Um, so, I, w I wish you could see how bright these colors are. They look kind of dull in that in that in the in my camera. I don't know if it's my computer or what. Um, and as you can see, I'm like just adding some gel. And of course, this gel dries clearly. I'm going to add some of the black ones as well. These kind of look like poppy seeds to me. Um, and I'm going to spray on top of them after because. 
I really feel that the texture has to be complete when you spray those beautiful colors on top. It has to be a bit more shimmery. Um, so yeah, oops. And you see how what I meant by it's still wet? Like when I just pressed here, I thought it was part of the, it was, I thought it was part of the tail, but it's actually the gel medium and it's still really soft. You see how it's coming out here? But no worries, even if that happens, um, all you have to do is just spray again and dry. So as long as the surface is dry, you're good. And then you just have to leave it overnight. I just want to show you this beautiful shimmer here, okay? Look at this beautiful golden shimmer. It's just really, really nice nice so I just really like doing that so let me just go back now so this is why I like playing back and forth with the gel and with the with the colors it really makes a difference because you can you can uh, you can mix and match and see what comes up oh this is the black one no I don't want the black one. now I if you try this if you're gonna try this um, I would suggest you for sure to try the black and that's one of the as if you saw them today I'm having a giveaway at the end of the show um, this is one of the ones I'm giving this black one which is really 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 neat so um, because the black one goes into the grooves and looks really 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 neat really cool so just please stay till the end of the show um, but you do have to, for those of you who watch this video after, um, in my YouTube, in the YouTube channel, you can participate in the giveaway after the fact you do have to come to the show to actually, um, win. So although I'm talking about a giveaway right now, as I'm showing, it is, it does have to, um, you do have to be here to participate. I'm just going to set it a bit closer. And then I could I could I can easily add like you know one of those like hanging elements in the back so then you can hang this. It's just really cool. You can see the, 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 the difference. I mean, they're not exactly the same, obviously, these two. Uh, this one is a bit more yellowish, but um, this one turned out a little bit more golden, golden orange, but I, I like it just the same. Okay, so just, I, need, I think I need some more crackle here at the top. I don't think it happened as much. And what I'm going to do is the one thing I I wanted to do at the end is just to kind of color in the edges in black. Yes, Joanne, actually what I'm using is a wooden box lid. That's exactly what I'm using from, a, I'll show you the back. Somebody, <laughs> Joanne was saying that it looks good. This is from Alaska. It's a wooden box from smoked salmon. So... Yeah, this could really look cool, even as a cover for a journal, a hard cover, the front cover for a journal. Like, I mean, there's so many possibilities, right? So you really need to play around with it. If you do create anything, please, with this, please tag me and show me what you created. I really would love to see it. It um, makes me happy when people, like, just try out Te the techniques that I teach so yeah if you do come up with something uh, or you know like some project or something 
a variation of this, let me know. I would love to know the new technique. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do, I guess I'm finishing early, which I didn't think, I, th I thought this would take me forever, and it's not. I'm going to stick my paintbrush in this. I just want to create um, the edges for the, because they, they look like wood edges, so I just kind of paint them. So what I like about these color blooms, I've always liked the fact that you can actually stick your paintbrush in them and use them as watercolors or paints. Oh, I just stuck my finger here and it got sticky. Um, oops. Yeah, so here we go. And here at the top. Oops. Here we go. So, so there is that. And I mean, you can also always add a word to it, some kind of metal word. I haven't thought of it. I could have done that, but I just didn't. Um, um, okay, so let me just, I just want to add a little bit more yellow in here. As I said before, I just really want that yellow. Maybe I'll take a different yellow color. Hold on. I'm thinking, so, so I can add a little bit of the yellow. Maybe I'll try this sunshine one, the color bloom sunshine. No, it's still making me orange. Everything is turning orange, no matter how much I add of yellow. Let's see. I really wanted it to look, oh, there. Hey, finally. I really wanted it to have a kind of a yellowish, a yellow tinge to it. So there we go. Okay. Why is it always out of focus? Okay, there we go. Um, where's that yellow one? I wanna try this. I really love this spring dandelion. I think I need to get myself a new one because it's just running out really quickly. Okay, so this is basically the project. I wanna show you this texture from close up. There it is. And you see the white parts, those are, I mean, that's more golden. They looks white in the screen, but um, they're actually, because the gel is still a little bit wet, as you can see, the butterfly is still flopping back and forth. But as, um, as uh, it dries, it will, it will like basically stay in place. And you can see that the best like crackles are where the darker colors are, where the black is. I find that's where the best crackle comes, although, it has happened in other places as well. And I see I just added some of the yellow here. So now I just want to kind of dry it a little bit to create those crackles again. So if you do add more color, just add more crackle to it. I mean, just add more drying to it. I'm saying I'm thinking of something else. So yeah, so that's my show for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And hold on, let me just close this. I'm going to have a giveaway, like I'm just gonna turn around and stop the recording, save it. And then, so just wait there for a few minutes. So I just want to thank everybody. Oh, I'm closer. Thank everyone for coming. Thank you so much, everyone for coming to the show. And next week we have Aida and um, She's going to be creating a really cool project as well. And she's also having a giveaway. So come and show up to her show. I'll be at CHA with Heather and other people, but she'll, they'll have their own mods for our show right there. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Oops.